Hi guys and welcome back to another fly fishing video. Today I'm back at Broadlands on the River Test and what I'm hoping to do today is give you a little insight into Euronymphing. So without further ado, let's get into it. Euronymphing then, uh, I'm using that as an umbrella term for the likes of Czech, Polish, Spanish, French, you'll have heard all different terms for it, close contact, tight line, there's so many different names, but we're going to use Euronymphing as the umbrella term today. So I suppose it erupted on the world stage when some of the Eastern European countries came over to the Welsh D in 1990 for the World Championships and absolutely decimated the competition with this technique. Now it's a huge subject and I'm not going to be able to cover it all in a 10 minute video but I hope to scratch the surface and pique your interests in this method. It can be really effective on its day. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on kit because there's lots of videos out there that will tell you all about the kit you need. I'm going to tell you what I'm using and then you can decide for yourself what it is you have in your armoury that you could maybe use for this method. So, basically I'm using a Hanak 10 foot for a 3. This is the Superb and I've got a Hens purpose made French leader, I think it's called, the hens, hens version. And I'll put a little uh, picture up in the side there to show you what that looks like. And attached to that, I've got about six foot of nylon and I'm currently fishing two nymphs. I've got one nymph on the point, which has got a 3.5 tungsten bead on. And about a foot and a half above that, I've got another nymph with a two and a half mil tungsten bead on. Now I've put that weight of tungsten bead on because it suits the flow of the river behind me which I'm going to fish and when you get to the river that's when you decide how much weight or the type of patterns you intend to put on to fish that section of the river. In between my French leader and my tippet I have a, a section of braid. It's about a foot and a half long and it helps me see any takes that I may have when I'm dead drifting my nymphs down through the water column. And what I'm going to do to help me is use some of this coloured wax to simply brighten up the leader. Now we're in late autumn here in the UK, the sun sits pretty low in the sky most of the day and it can be sometimes really difficult to see your indicator. So anything you can do to help that is going to help you catch more fish. Today I'm fishing for grayling and even though they are very tolerant of people even on the bank and in the river it's always best before you get into the river to fish the margins and you may just be lucky and pick up the odd fish that's sitting in at the edge for a rest. From my point fly to my rod tip I'm probably looking at about eight feet. My indicator's probably just shy of a foot from uh, the rod tip, and my two nymphs are about a foot apart. Now, what I want to do is pitch my nymphs upstream and track it back while watching the indicator at all times. Now, as soon as the nymphs hit the water, what I want to do is lift my rod to make sure I'm tracking them nymphs. And you want to be moving are currently at the same pace as the water.
Now the river's moving fairly pacey at this point, so what I want to do is try and extend the fishability of my nymphs by swapping hands. So I'm fishing upstream, track it back, and then I'm fishing downstream, changing hands. Okay, let's talk about the leader setup. And I think the best way to do that, rather than me trying to explain with my hands, is to put a diagram on the screen now. Guys, if you're getting some value from the videos, please don't forget to give them a like, comment in the comments section, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification and you'll be informed of any new videos I release on YouTube. Well, it's not the video that I'd hoped to have made for you about Euro nymphing. The constraints of uh, filming and fishing on my own has obviously limited what I was able to do here with a, such a short video. As I said at the beginning, I wanted to scratch the surface and pique your interest in this method. Of course, everyone has a different way of learning. I myself like to do a learn as I go, uh, getting on the water is the way I like to learn, but some people like to read. And if you're one of them sort of people, I can thoroughly recommend two books that will definitely help you with your Euronymphing journey. Czech Nymph and Other Related Fly Fishing Methods by Karol Krivniak and Friends. Secondly, a relatively new book on the market, The Fly Fishing Bible of Nymphing, a complete playbook for fly fishing with nymphs, is by Dr. Paul Gaskell, with John Pearson. Both books give a really in-depth description and explanation of setting up leaders and tactics for Euronymphing. And what I'll do is in the description below, I'll leave links to them books if you're interested. Of course, the other way to learn this method is to hire a professional guide. I've certainly went down this road myself and it helped me bring on my fishing in leaps and bounds. A professional guide will be able to ascertain at what standard you're at and take you to the next level. Before I close the video off, I've got one more nugget of advice. Get out there. No one ever caught a fish from behind a mobile phone or a keyboard. Get on the river, try it for yourself and catch some fish. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you all next time.